how to create PID document in SAP. For example, we have a plan code 3002, SLOC code is this, and we have these quantity as per the SAP record. So let's check this uh, in MB52, okay, how much quantity is available. We have reported information of this, these two material. And uh, <coughs> see, as per the SAP record, we have two quantity of this and 96 quantity of this. We have reported this. And now we are going to create the physical inventory document that is PID document for these two material in these plant code and uh, SLOC code. Okay. So I'm going to execute MI01 for the same. The date is similar date. You can apply the checkbox that is posting blog, special stock, freeze book inventory and all. Okay, I'm not going to apply any check. I'm just click on the enter and fill the material code. Okay, if you apply any batch number, if you have any batch number, then you can mention your batch number. Okay, and I'm just click on the post. System has generated the PID document. Yeah. This PID document is generated for these two material code. Okay. Okay. And the date is fine. Now, how to count? How to count PID document? That is the transaction code is MI04. Right. So we have a transaction code MI04. You need to execute the transaction code MI04. And we have a presently generated PID number. Fill the PID number that is 2023. Count it is this. And now the first quantity while we, we are we have counted that it's two number but f during physical verification it's become one okay and the second quantity during quantity we have observed that we have one surplus quantity that is by you by 91 to 97 right and you have to count here and click on zero for example, if you have any material during physical inventory verification is zero, then why in entering zero, you need to check this box. That's, that is zero count. Okay. Now I have to post. Okay. Post. once we have once we have enter once we have entered the counting then counting is done right counting is done right how you can check this status of the counting status of counting that is in mi22 okay you need to execute the transaction code MI22. Here you need to fill the plant code, storage location code that is counted. Counted is if you are if you have count if you don't know the counted, then you can fill the range. Okay. Execute and click on the details both uh, the inventory has successfully counted the status is counted right now how to check difference that is in mi20 okay 
execute the transaction code MI20. Here you need to fill the plan code, storage location, physical inventory document, and you need to execute. Okay. See, in the first quantity, the as per SAP quantity is two quantity, quantity counted one, difference of one quantity, and what is the difference amount? That is 623. And <coughs> 96 <coughs> books quantity of the second material, 97 quantity is counted. Difference quantity is one, that is positive difference. And after getting the approval of the competent authority and the senior officer, you can do posting also from here. You need to check the PID document and you need to post the difference. Okay. Uh, for the posting of the PID document, posting of this difference of PID document, the role is MI07. Fine. The role is MI07. You can directly do posting from here also. I've just uh, checked the MI07 screen. That is MI07. Okay. <clears throat> you need to physical inventory document, fiscal year, posting date, okay, and click on the enter. System will generate the screen and you need to select and post, right? Now we are going to check the how to recount. How to recount. Then that is MI05. Okay. How to recount. So need to execute the transaction code MI05. During observation, we have found that the material is of three quantity. Okay three numbers and here I have observed that this is the 98 numbers so we have recounted the material doing during the inspection you need to do inspection along with two or three material management officers or inventory management officers because the stock the value of stock is very important okay if anything is missing then it's the responsibility of a concerned person okay so you need to do very careful while counting okay i have done recounting because this is the test uh, tutorial so we have uh, we are showing you the different dispense aspects of the physical inventory verification okay in mi04 we have done recounting okay you can check the same in the difference okay initially we have uh, 1 and 96 and 97 now we have recounted 3 and 98 the difference is changes okay how to delete this PID document right uh, how to delete this PID document and now we are going to how to delete PID document that is in MI02 during uh, verification we have uh, found that uh, please delete this de PID document we will generate new PID document there is a certain processor for example if you have generated the PID document in month of uh, May or month of June then you need to do the difference posting in the same month for example, if you have generated the PID document in month of May and you want to do posting in month of June, then system will not going to allow. Okay, so you need to post the different inventory difference in the same month. So for in that case, you need to delete the old PID document, generate new PID document, fresh count the PID document and post, right? So you need to uh, generate the uh, execute the transaction code MI02 again. This is our PID document and you need to click on the enter, right? For example, I just want to delete first line item. Okay. So you need to select this line item. Your cursor point of is from in the first line on the first line and click on the delete indicator, right? And the deletion flag is 
appear here checkbox will appear here and you need to post right check the status in mi22 okay see first pid document counted but deleted second is counted yet not deleted okay so if you have a n number of items some of the posted some of the adjusted so you need to you are not able to delete those pid document again again against those line item for which posting is already done okay so you need to check uh, you need to select line by line inventory lines and click on the delete indicator now i'm going to delete another line select this line click on the deletion indicator that is okay now you can again check the difference in mi22 see this is counted and deleted okay so this is the whole process how to create PID, how to count PID, how to recount PID, how to delete PID. So this is the way how can you do it. Okay. Thank you. This is tutorial for learning and understanding purpose. Okay.